So, you were there during the Slocum disaster? Yeah. Yeah, I was with the 10th Regiment at the time. <laughs> you must have been really young. I was. I mean, they didn't have background checks back in those days. They never asked my age. I never told them. Someone must have known. They didn't even let me use the gun until in there, like, two years. Hmm. So, your granddaughter Sally said you had a story to tell about the Slocum incident. One that didn't get into the news. She said you saw something? Uh, you still there? Yeah, 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 I'm here. She was telling us uh, you told her mother you saw something with all the bodies they pulled out of the water. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we didn't know we were looking at it. I mean, um, we're just a bunch of kids. I mean, I've never seen anything like that before since... First, thought it was just another body. What did it look like? Did it look like a person? No, no, it wasn't a person. So it was an animal then? No, not an animal. It was like a person, but it wasn't a person. Let's get this straight. It wasn't a person, but it wasn't an animal? Yeah, yeah, not a person, not an animal. It's something dark. Dark, like bodies we found, but all, all teeth, no hands, or no real hands. It was something else, something not, not right. And everyone saw this? Oh, everyone who was there, yeah. Now I'm the only one alive who remembers. Now you're never gonna forget. Don't go near the water anymore, ever. Because of that, there's monsters in the water. You don't see them so often, but every once in a while they come up. I know that. Why do you think they come up? I think... I think they get hungry. Hello and welcome to another wonderful morning of Astoria Queens. Behind me you will see the monstrous creation of the one and only Hell's Gate Bridge. It was named thus in the 20th century, possibly the 18th century. Studies are out to determine when exactly it was named, but back then it was no surprise there were many upsetting happenings. We do have photographic evidence of some of the most mysterious happenings as of late. The carnivals come to town, the people eat their hot dogs and popcorn, and then they leave. Why? Because they have to go home. Still, it doesn't take away from the fact that there are many happenings happening around this old gate bridge of hell. James, can we please show the photographs?
I'm Zach Alphanakis. I'm Zach Alphanakis. I'm Zach Alphanakis. Hi, I'm Zach Alphanakis. Hi, I'm Zach Alphanakis. We have something extra special for you today. Chug it. Chug it. You want to like You want to like You want to like Chug it. Chug it. You want to like Academy Award winning director of the short film, Who is Spider Man? Here with us today, The Doctor. I have to ask, why do you feel it's the perfect time for another Spider-Man movie? Children love the Spider-Man. <laughs> So this is a very artistic film, and I kind of just want to get to the bottom of like, what were you trying to say? What were you trying to express? What? Just, what? just tell me. <laughs> uh, I, I always wanted to, to make a movie, and so I uh, made this movie. So we have an extra special treat for you guys today. The doctor has brought a clip of his amazing film. Roll it, Emilio. That's the whole. What is in the apple? Could be poison! If you could rate your film on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate your film? An 8. <laughs> Children love the Spider-Man <laughs> and the, the SpongeBob, so I intertwined them. Intertwine, intertwine, intertwine. Movie magic. And now for our next guest, the star of the film, Spider-Man. 